Yeah. Okay, it's swelling up a bit. What happened, bro? I got smashed in the face, bro. Let me see it. Oh. Okay, cool. It's you not see that bad. Yeah. Right mm -hmm. Did you slip? No, uh, I had to like lift the engine up a little bit. Yeah. So that I could put the filter in. And then I think I was getting out of the dinghy and I had it hoisted on the halyards. Yeah. And then I put a little bit of weight on it and then it flipped around and like kicked me in the uh. face with the propeller. You didn't lose consciousness or anything, huh? Just a bit like, fuck, ow, and then saw the blood. Okay. But let's wash that off. This thing. Well, you don't need stitches, so that's good. No. It's not too deep. The dinghy fucked you. The <laughs> dinghy smashed you. Smashed you in the eye. Previously on Delos, we explored the beautiful island of Trinidad, experienced the party of a lifetime at Juve, and fall in love with Carnival. I think now we are all kind of really excited to <laughs> get some good sleep and get some stuff done before the Patreon's flying, which is really, really cool too. But we do need to get some stuff done before that. Editing, boat work, editing, more boat work. And then I'm gonna fill the propane tanks as usual. We'll put some diesel in the boat. We left Recife about two months ago and we only need 250 liters of fuel. So that means with all the good wind and stuff, we average using about 125 liters a month on Delos, which is not too bad because that's for running the generator to fill dive tanks and make water and uh, of course motor when we have to. Not too bad, anyway. My task for the morning was a deep clean when all of a sudden... Oh no, is the bad news or good news? I don't know. Uh, today I get to play vacuum cleaner repairman and I think I found something. Look at this. Uh, this is one of the brushes for the AC motor. Oh. I think that wire broke off. Mm. I need to make a longer wire. Try and solder it. Solder? Ready for the grand test? Up here, boys. We are fully taking advantage of the situation. Mm -hmm. And one of the cool things is right now we're like a five minute walk from a marine store. Budget Marine! Which is awesome because I bought the wrong piece to fix the fuel tank. And so I just walk up there five minutes later, I have one. It's amazing. I don't even have to like make anything, I can just go buy like a little piece. So if we're like doing all sorts of work, put a new filter for the dinghy and uh, redid all the fuel hose. So hopefully that'll make it easier to start. I think there was like an air leak in it, we'll see. And um, what else we do? I did some electrical things, Brady's fixing the navigation lights. So we bought these in Brazil. They're supposed to, we thought they were really cool because they're LED and they're fully submersible. So they're just supposed to last for years and years. And if you look inside, you can see water Going back and forth. Marine quality, huh? Mm hmm And then we just got these new ones. <laughs> and they're just a bunch of plastic. Just a bunch of plastic. plastic. They're not cheap. Just they're fit together. Each too. These are Aqua Signal. And it's 
there's just, I mean, I know for a fact there's water going to go when, when waves crash over. It's going to go in there, going to go in the back. Probably cut through that on the top and then get in this little nice pan to collect it and rust away. And the bulb hangs from that. What a terrible design. <laughs> it's if anybody's making good <laughs> nav lights, lights that are there. meant for the ocean, yeah. let us know. Having any success, brother? Yeah, yeah. all the wires out there are all corroded away. Salt water. So I just need a heat gun, get those wires connected up, and then I'll see if it works. Cool. <laughs> Mission accomplished. We finally got working. Nav lights. There's our nice. Very good. Now I'm fixing the anchor counter. And um, I think there's a few other things we'll be able to check off the list. That's awesome. It's going pretty good. What are you doing in there? Well, uh, cleaning out our shit. Oh, well, this isn't even my shirt. Yeah, it's yours. No, it's not. Look how small it is. He's a hoarder. <laughs> Brian. I'm not. There's when treasures. I, when I get into my zone, I throw it. <laughs> get rid of it, Kaza. Maybe we'll maybe we won't we won't need to repaint our water line. <laughs> Brian. Yeah, you need Damn, I see Delos. There she is. <laughs> oh, look who it is. Yeah. You made it, huh? Yeah. Nice to meet you, Ben. Welcome. Yeah. We'll see. We'll take a picture of you guys. Hello, <laughs> right, guys. Oh. Get down, Blue. Get down. Hello. Hello. Oh, man, you guys freaked me out. My hands are all sweaty and stuff. I forgot about <laughs> well, we don't, we don't have bad news for you. <laughs> I guess we'll just cut right to it, but we did a little drawing today, and how would you like to meet us in Trinidad and sail to Grenada with us? Oh, yeah. Hey. Oh, oh my god! I can already tell you're gonna fit in real good. Oh, oh man, what's in here? All your Yo. shit. <laughs> a lot of <laughs> shit. Like you're hungry. Almost none of this. Eric had brought a huge goodie bag with things we had ordered from the U.S. New cameras, speakers, drone, dive gear and Brian had put in a special wish. So this is maybe the most exciting one. <laughs> what is that? When I was chatting, he's like, hey bro, I just made it to Miami. I was like, you're in Miami? Hey, pick up a sandwich. If you see a Cuban sandwich, like... <laughs> <laughs> Does anybody want a Cuban sandwich snack? I'm kind of curious. So it's two o'clock at night, and our second Patreon crew winner I guess <laughs> um, has arrived. The boys have just ran up to meet her. Brady now though. Yeah. <laughs> Hi Brady. Hello. I'm Maureen. Nice to meet you, Maureen. <laughs> nice to meet you Welcome too. Welcome to Trinidad. Oh, so thank you. you. Man, this is probably one of my favorite favorite things about Delos is meeting new people along the way. I love the countries we go to but interacting with random people we've never met before and know nothing about and having them come and join us sailing mixes like everything up on the boat so like it mixes our vibe up on the, up on the boat it inspires us to film different things and it changes their life as well it's, it's seriously so cool man and now we've got two of them <laughs> how crazy is that yeah. welcome aboard all right maureen and maureen brought some awesome gifts as well Oh no, you did! <laughs> wow, oh, what a good man. headband too. He's never gonna take that thing off. <laughs> <laughs> it's like a, it's like a biker headband, right? Yeah. Oh, that, yes. is, that is so brave too. Oh wow. Well, and there's one for Alex. <laughs> <laughs> nice, right. thank you. Oh, and it's stretchy. It's the perfect headband. And it's light. <laughs> I'm about to start crying up here. <laughs> so is your nickname Mo? It is. That's, okay. Yeah. <laughs> so we're just uh, getting ready to sail onto Grenada. So we are going from here to 
right there. So the first step in the process, we have to pay the bill for Coral Cove for the marina. And we go to customs and immigration to uh, finalize the paperwork. But we couldn't set sail without spending our last dollars on some of our favorite Trinidad street food. Hey man, how are you? I'm hungry, bro. You got the doubles here. Yeah. All right, Michael, so tell us what treat we're in for. What is a double? Doubles is baro, two pieces of baro, which is kind of like a fried bread, and chana, and street food, breakfast, or oh, drunk food. <laughs> How many can I get for 100? Because there's six of us, right? Yes. All right. Full yeah. surprise. <laughs> Hope you guys enjoyed. Alright, we will bro. Have a good day. See ya. Cheers. Guess how many doubles we got. Should be 40 doubles. 40 doubles, Blue. 40? <laughs> what are we gonna do with 40 doubles? Start eating them. Yeah, well I brought... I figured... You not buy 40 doubles. I, I figured we would each want... Four now. We're gonna live off doubles. Four. Yeah, four. And then I figured, well, passage. if I'm gonna do that, we should have some for passage. Yes. yes. There's there's gonna be a tiny. smelly boat. Mm. I was just outside so good talking good. about. Uh, I'm a not gonna be able to get a double for a while. And there you go, Brian. Surprising. Hell yeah, I love you, bro. Are you ready? I'm ready. I am more than ready. I just have to make sure we don't hit that pole. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> I believe in you. <laughs> I'm glad you do. Thank you. It's a little windy. It's going to be a bit tricky getting out of here, but I think we can do it. Good job, team. Nice We're out. Bye-bye, <laughs> Trinidad. Trinidad was awesome. Totally didn't expect any of that, and we met some really cool people. I like Trinis, and I like the slang. You'd be lying. Keep on liming. We go keep liming. Stay liming. And I discovered that I got a chip. You got a good chip. Got a good chip. A little bit of white girl chip. I got a, a white chip. girl chip. <laughs> Eighty-two miles. Eighty-two. Eighty-two miles. What are we expecting? From? It's gonna be windy. It's gonna be windy, and I think it's gonna be beating. Windy beating. Uh, all four forecasts are showing like somewhere between fifteen to twenty-five with gusts in like close to 30 out of the northeast. So we're gonna have to see when we get out there if we have to tack or if we can motor sail into it or whatever is the best, we just don't, don't know. That's it. All right. Comfortable over well, speed is what we're going for really. Okay, though. I like it. I like ready? the sound of that. Yeah. So you've done some sailing, yeah? I have, yes, but on the Great Lakes, so not ocean sailing as much. Looking forward to an overnight sail. And enjoying the moon and the stars and the quiet. I'm glad we're going overnight for you guys because it's a way different experience. That's what I keep hearing from you guys. I'm <laughs> looking forward to it. Nice. So, your biggest fear right now is you're going to get seasick? I would say so. Yeah. I hope not. But you have nothing to, to compare it to. No, I don't. So. No, not at all. It's gonna be great. Well, <laughs> we'll, see, we'll see how you hold up then. Yeah. <laughs> What'd you find? Eric? Oh, they're coming. They're coming. Found, they're some coming. Dolphins, man. found some dolphins. Dolphins. Whoa, <laughs> big ones. They're huge. Oh my god. Wow. Oh my god. These waves, man. I love it! Look at this rainbow! Oh, look at my shit! It's so bright! 
It is, it's beautiful. Oh my god. Oh yeah, here it goes again. Oh, hold on. Whoa. <laughs> 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 Holy shite. <laughs> <laughs> okay, should we get out of here? Yeah, that was pretty awesome. Sale. Yeah, well, you're in luck. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think so. It's great. It's great. Oh my god, how big were those dolphins? They were big. They were at least like two and a half meters, three meters. They were huge dolphins. Big boys. I wonder why they're big so big in the Caribbean. I don't know, because the other ones we saw were massive. That's They've been eating them doubles. Yeah. Yeah. Too many doubles? <laughs> Party and carnival. Probably. We haven't seen weather like this in a long time. Yeah. Squalls kicking up. We have 40 knots of wind. Casual little 40 knots. What a way to break in two new fresh green orange, huh? I know, I know. <laughs> Senior? Yep. Okay. Uh, what are you doing up? Oh, just enjoying the ride. <laughs> How are you feeling? I feel great. Nice. Yeah, I feel good. Good. <laughs> oh, we've got like 40 knots coming from right where we should be going. The squalls just keep knocking us and the current's taking us west too. Fuck it. Yeah. But, at least it's not like 300 miles away or something, you know? How far away are we? We're 26 miles straight line distance. Okay, maybe we'll make it tomorrow. Yeah, hopefully we'll make it tomorrow. Man, we're just getting destroyed on every angle. If we're on the starboard tack, then we're getting set west. And the wind is coming more out of the north. And then the minute we go to a port tack, we're going into the current. And the wind is coming down more to the east. And there's squalls around. It's the east of a squall. That's taking the wind and making it like 35, 40 knots. So. There's our progress. It's not looking so good for us. <laughs> Fever, fever. I can feel it. I don't so know. we've packed it in, brother. We said screw tack and back and forth. Yeah, sometimes so we, you just gotta call it. We called it because we're not as salty as we should be. I counted our last tack. We spent 25 miles sailing to make six miles good from oh. the current and wind. Which means that to get there, we'd have to sail another 50 miles. Yeah. And that's if the wind stays good and it just drops. So we basically yeah. pulled in the sail and we have five miles to go to the island. We're just gonna motor sail the last bit and call it good. Yep, I'm cool with that. We're not proving anything to anybody. You okay with that, Marie? I'm so okay with that. <laughs> <laughs> Damn. Feeling a bit rough. Yeah. 
Did you get something to eat yet? I did, thank you, yeah. Okay, do you want anything else now, or are you okay for a little while? I think I'm going to be okay. I shouldn't have been looking at that instrument for so long. Ah, yeah. How about you? How are we feeling? Pretty good. Yeah? Yeah. Did you get a double for breakfast? Oh, no, I ate some noodles for breakfast. Oh, that's cool. Yeah. yeah. This looks pretty good, though. So. 40! 36! Ah. <laughs> you get blasted! Just a quarter. <laughs> Trying to look out. We're so close, too, man! Maybe we should reef our main, too. chatting with Rick Moore, some sailing sophisticated lady, and he's come out to meet us and he's flying a drone in like 30 knots of wind, which <laughs> immediately makes me very impressed with this guy. Yeah. <laughs> That's really brave. Yeah. And he's come out to meet us. That's awesome. Rick Moore and sophisticated lady have been sailing these waters for years. Before we even started making videos, I was cruising YouTube and up Pop Rick's channel. His concept of capturing real-life moments was one of the early inspirations for starting the SV Delos channel. Over the years, we'd exchanged messages and kept in touch. And now, here we are, a few years and many miles later, meeting up in the Caribbean. When Rick found out we were arriving in Grenada, he offered to sail out and guide us through the pass and into his favorite marina. Yo, Rick, how you doing, bro? Ah, <laughs> uh, thank you. Thanks for coming out to welcome us in big balls for flying the drone in the wind like that. Oh, uh, we've done worse. That's what we deal with every day down here. But I'm sure we're getting some good shots. Cool, man. So is this entrance pretty clear and just going through the buoys and all good to go? Well, Mark, but there's shallow, there's very shallow reef on each side. So you just follow us in, and we got a spot right there inside the marina. So. Sounds good, bro. Well, we'll see you in a little while. Sounds good. Let's get ready to clear one six out. Dallas one six. <laughs> Sounds like a good guy. <laughs> nice. And when we got a little closer to Rick's boat, Marine spotted a familiar face. A oh my God! There's my husband. <laughs> What is happening right now? What funny is that? My husband's on that boat. <laughs> and you had no idea he was coming down here. No. Did Marie. you guys know this? No. No, no idea. Because <laughs> I looked at my dad. That guy looks like my husband. The last conversation I had with Colin, we were, I just said we're going to head to Grenada and hook up with some other vlogger that these guys know, and I think his name's Richard Moore. <laughs> oh. That's all I said. I said you might be able to just Google him and find him. So oh, he apparently did. did. <laughs> That's hilarious. You want to go on this yeah, that's perfect. Alright, bro, all eyes on. Oh. Eric, you did it. Alright. Thanks for helping. <laughs> Good job. Well done. Oh, nice Are you Collins? Mrs? I am. Hi. What's your name? Maureen. Hi. Maureen, I'm Jordan. Hi, Jordan. Nice to meet you. They found him, they found him at breakfast. Is that... He was wearing the Dalo shirt, and they were like, 
Oh, my wife's on Delos, so I'm going to surprise her, and we were like, come on out on the boat with us. Oh, well, I was just a last minute thing boat? I saw. What are the odds of <laughs> meeting the Delos crew again? <laughs> or again, I mean, for the first Pretty, time, man. Because right? you're all in the world. You so I thought, yeah, good. Yeah, I really I'm just going to jump on a plane and kick the little come down here. The spirit in the cruising community never ceases to amaze me. Rick arranged a slip for us, a bunch of cold beer, and even a welcome to the Caribbean Delos banner. From the bottom of our hearts, a huge shout out to Rick and the pirate crew's sophisticated lady for making our arrival into the Caribbean so special. Three, two, one, cheese motherfucker! Got it, got it, got it. Up next on Delos, we begin exploring the beautiful island of Grenada and hit the water for some incredible scuba diving action. Okay, go. I'm going to the wrong throat. The wrong throat. <laughs> I like it. I like it a lot. It's a pube stuck yeah, underneath the sticker. The and and the on sticker. the back, on the back, it says "For Brady, love do it." <laughs> <laughs> I don't want that. Was that was brilliant. Oh, Fucking dude. do it. What a legend. Poor kid doesn't want to focus on him. Just let me touch it. She wants. No. Just your leg. No. Get out of here. Boring. 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 Stop! <laughs> well, we uh, today we're having a self-serve salad bar by Sammy Salon. Oh, wow. Yeah. Okay. 